everyone welcome to the update of 26 july what a fantastic rally today nearly 100 percent sectors in the indices were up it was literally an early diwali today i was not sure what the celebration was about so i tried to dig one of the reasons i found and i talk about it a lot this is India's primary supply of money, M1, which RBI controls, and the India GDP in billions of dollars. This line has exponentially increased, which equates to money supply or printing of money. This is the demon event. This is the pandemic dip in the GDP. So clearly, this angle has been increasing via money supply. So you don't need much to happen. Just keep printing money. Inflation will hit different people differently but in autopilot mode the gdp will keep on doubling tripling if you double the money we will also become a 10 trillion dollar economy maybe and once you have so much cash in the economy if people have money in the hand then obviously it has to be invested somewhere now this is a hypothetical situation which i am drawing here there is no middle class in this diagram there is a green zone and a blue zone this is a set of people who will never run out of money i'm not classifying them as super rich less rich filthy rich the second zone is people who are getting wealthier at a fast pace. This is at times also called Henry these days. Fire will probably also appear here. Henry is high earnings, not retired yet. This category is getting poorer living on loans, net negative net worth because of loans or because it is continuously going down via inflation. The fourth category of people who are already poor, they basically have no purpose in life. They want to achieve something, but they have no means to achieve anything. And of course, there are immigrants. There are certain people who suddenly clear a UPSC and jump from the fourth zone to say second zone. There are people who lose money suddenly and jump from third zone to second zone. The people who work very hard in zone three, they move to zone two eventually. This is the most sought after move in life for most people. Now, these are the people who are buying a lot of stocks. These are the people who perhaps own those companies. These are the people who are buying the options. Yesterday, there were two tall towers here. Today, there is no tower here. It is like a downward exponential curve. The three large market caps are right here. That is why you see there was only buying today. There was hardly anyone pulling the indices down. This is primarily DMART, which is a very large company. Software, the sale is ending tomorrow. Everything was up. Volumes were decent. Suddenly, everyone is at a 52-week high. Banks still away but significant improvement in most stocks. The volumes were pretty good on most large banking stocks. Now, this is a two-day graph. If I don't put the date here, you will not know where the date change happened. The Nifty just resumed from where it left yesterday and continuously went up. In fact, the slope kind of became better only. There were hardly any profit bookings over both last two days besides this gap down opening. Bank Nifty opened gap down but nearly recovered everything that it lost in one candle itself and then just went up. Bank Nifty was perhaps more volatile than Nifty. Nifty just kept going up at its own pace. In fact, there were zones of consolidation also which frustrated the option buyers because of the decay associated with the weekend coming up. Even towards the end, Business Standard says ATL Africa's net profit is down to 7 million. Then economic time says ATL Africa has reported 30 million net profit. If you bought Bharti ATL seeing this number and it turned out to be this number and the stock falls on Monday, then who's accountable? I reported this particular section in detail. Today, Money Control also published a fantastic article. 10 lakh crore worth of hard wealth was lost yesterday. Even God became poorer yesterday because God holds most gold in this country. Now, Bharti ATL has gone up 70% in the year the p ratio is ever increasing it is near 120 now this is a bubble which will burst terribly us was red two days back i realized that us economy lost one trillion dollar in nasdaq in one day and we are dealing with a sea of greens as if the largest economy in the world does not impact us at all this also as if all the companies which are not doing well in US, they will now move to India. You won't often see nearly 2% upside on Nifty in one single day. Today, FII is also bought and joined the party. My guess is public would not have made too much money actually in today's market. For the simple reason, the stocks that went up 
if you bought recently only then you would probably have just recovered losses or maybe slightly on losses only if you are having them in long term holding you would have not sold in any case so all paper money no one would have made real money in today's market gold my feeling and my philosophy now is that there will be a significant buying right now people would buy now ahead of diwali and the marriage season about 4 months down the line for the simple reason for most people this is a 5 to 10% cut in their expenses which was planned and no one wants to take the risk of this number going up significantly so my guess is gold will cross 70000 very soon reliance nearly touched the top point of the day at around 11 o'clock consolidated and then closed nearly around the same point 3020 tcs up 1% from the bottom of the day hdfc up sbi up airtel up icici up airtel from the bottom of the day was up 4.12% infosys from the bottom of the day was up 3% I mentioned yesterday LNT. There is some leg room left. It will go up more. I think it will cross thirty eight hundred. Bank Nifty also lot saner today. Indecent results were okay. I'm gonna come up with a video over the weekend. PNB up, SBI up. Look at the sharp up move in ICICI towards the end. Kotak Mahindra found its feet today. ICICI results are coming up tomorrow. That is why it was up probably two and a half percent. Defence pack was mixed pack. Most of the defense stocks are nearly 20-25 percent away from their 52-week high, which is recent, probably 10 days back. BL and HL were up, but the other stocks are still not finding their feet, especially the shipping companies. CHL up and consolidated, BL up and consolidated, but the shipping companies continue to come down. Metal Hindustan Zinc fell, but nearly all other metals were up significantly, especially from the lowest point of the day, that too on very high volumes. This is probably a short covering rally here in the metal space, but still most metals are far off from their 52-week highs. Railway stocks IRCT was up a bit, but the sector is still looking bad only. Ultra high PEs. Energy sector, the power producers and distributors were up. significantly today the large players were up 1% ntpc power grid adani green was down but look at tata power 5% up the results are far off they are on 6th of august however i expect the results to be fantastic power rates in the country are perhaps at the highest point ever and the demand also is probably highest ever so tata power would have produced and distributed most power ever in this quarter also coal prices at least internationally are pretty low so hopefully this quarter will be better only not worse definitely q on q as well as y on y look at the volumes here 150% plus for most stocks ongc oil india corrected you can't have infinite gains based upon 10% reduction in brent prices reliance however was up today 1.1% the greed index went up 1% 30% today that reflects here all sectors up except food and drug retailing that's dmart no surprises the top of armor was software followed by telecom auto banking insurance this is how auto should have been perhaps on the budget day it wasn't so it decided to do that before the weekend firm beverages was up 1.5% today also but the alcohol stocks corrected look at where asian paints is for more than a decade it has been the most sought out stock in the indian market coal india up a lot 3.2% coal india sales would be very high this quarter lnt up but rvnl down still 4% cement alternates every day today it was up adani enterprises after a long time i have seen it up 3.5% itc continued the upward journey maybe i am not aware and the prices of cigarettes are actually going to go up soon Nestle just like Asian Paints is very low from its 52 week high no such problem for Britannia Tata consumer Marico home building and construction picked up today this may reflect in the real estate stocks also look at the smaller players general insurance corporation new india assurance look at the volumes looks like 10 or 20 percent of the country is buying more policies this month investment banking was up a lot today though bsc corrected a bit pharma sipla was up 5% divis lab 5.36% this is one crazy day these are ultra large companies yep real estate up each and every telecom company the top four was up 4 5% the greed is highest in divis lab followed by hdfc life insurance jsw steel hero motor corp this has not moved much titan britannia also looking greedy 
that's primarily because the P is not reflecting the growth. Axis, State Bank, Tata Consumer, Bajaj Auto, ICICI Bank, HDFC Bank, they represent value in terms of fear. Two stocks down, 48 up in Nifty. Next 50, six stocks down, 44 up. Shiram Finance up 10%, Tata Power 5%. What was down? United Spirits, DMART, SBI Cards, Adani Green, Godrej. PSU banks were up today. My trade for the day, I did not buy anything. Today was a day to sell. So I got rid of some of the inventory. Polycap, I bought recently. Mothersan Sumi wiring also. I could have kept both of them in my long-term portfolio, but the quantity was not very high. And I have some money blocked in the shipping companies and IRFC. So I needed to rescue some cash here. I sold BSC. This I wanted to keep long term. But again, the holding which I had bought was very low. So at better prices, I'll buy more and larger in quantity. Keith Perry had bought for budget reason. I also bought KRBL, but that is still in loss. So maybe a day or two more. Varun Beverages, I had bought in two lots over the last one week. I wanted to hold it till the results, but still it was giving decent profit. And there were some losses in FNO today, which I had to cover. So I sold Varun Beverages, which more or less made up for the losses in FNO. Hindustan Copper, again, I had bought for budget reason. I wanted to hold it till mid-August or so. FNO today was the worst day to short, and I did precisely that. I did not do it in the beginning of the day. However, I got caught in the nifty rally and that too, I averaged twice. Both of these things I had decided not to do, but today I on impulse got there because I thought that two days market has run up so much. Friday, there will be some sort of profit booking, but the new pattern is Friday. There will be no profit booking. That's okay. You have to take some of these in the stride, but still overall for that day, it is a profitable day. If you equate both of these numbers. LNT I sold too early. I sold around 120 levels and then it went up to nearly 140 levels. So red is back on options and there is one day of green on cash in the week. It's time to rethink because for example, gold was a significant part of my portfolio strategically. So I have to spend some time to redo my strategy, realign my portfolio. You have to move on. You have to think again. Gold is not looking good. FD rates obviously don't beat inflation. Equity markets are at an all-time high. I don't like mutual funds. Real estate, I don't have money right now to put in real estate and block it for several times. In any case, real estate is at a very high time. So maybe right now, the universal truth, cash is king. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on Monday.